Now for today's review, I'm going to review this uh, Hormel Completes, there we go, meatloaf and gravy with mashed potatoes. Um, cost $2.37 at HEB. It's got 15 grams of protein. Says it has no artificial ingredients. 300 calories, 14 grams of protein, saturated fat 30%, cholesterol 17%, sodium 33%, uh, total carbohydrates 10%, dietary fiber 7%, total sugar 2 grams, including added sugars 0%, protein 15 grams at 22%. Total fat was 18%. So like I said, this says it's supposed to go in a microwave, so I'm, but I'm going to see if my uh, heated lunchbox will heat this up in the car. And uh, it says 20 to 30 minutes on the directions. So I'm going to be back in uh, 25 minutes. I'm going to compromise. And by the way, I have a food thermometer. So I'm going to be able to tell you how hot this is. And then I will consume it. And continue on and I will do a review a taste test of this um, Hormel completes mashed potato and gravy with potatoes meatloaf with mashed potato and gravy see you guys in a while hello everyone I'm back um, I'm heating up this Hormel Completes dinner in this uh, lunchbox, heated lunchbox that you can use in a car. Uh, I'm using it for emergency purposes. I checked in after 25 minutes. The meal had heated to 128 degrees. The lunchbox was warm to the touch. To me now, it feels warmer to the touch. Um, Let's see if it got to be more than 128 degrees. I don't know if you can see. That's where I poked the thermometer through the first time. So let's try it over here. This meal is intended to be this Hormel meal is intended to be microwaved, but I'm trying to see if it can be eaten in an emergency without a microwave and no power for a microwave, but limited power through my Blue Eddy with this heated lunchbox. At this point, I'm going to eat the meal uh, it seems to be stopped at about 114 degrees so I think it seemed like it was hotter or else it's hotter over here oh this felt like it poked through the meat yeah here we go 133 135 136 I was looking for 140. Hundred and forty two degrees. It's been heated in this portable lunch box. Uh, as if you're gonna bring it to work. So we're gonna first see uh, I got this meal up to about 140 degrees. It took about 35 minutes and um, using this heated lunch box 
I did. I'm assuming you don't have a way to microwave it, which I do. But for the sake of this review, I think I got it warm enough to review it. But I want to be fair. Um, it feels really warm, but I'm kind of going against the directions a little bit here as I review this. I wrapped it in tin foil and took the plastic cover off. Um, I use this thermometer, cooking thermometer, to test it. So, as Steve1984 would say, let's get this out onto a tray, shall we? And I'm going to tell you what I think about how it tastes. There's what it looks like. I'm just going to turn it over and dump it out. Excellent. So this is 300 calories. So if you were trying to supplement a 2,000 calorie diet, almost six of these. Um, it heated nicely. The mashed potatoes have a good flavor. A little bit of oil in there, but I want to get some of this gravy onto the mashed potatoes. It's late in the evening and I'm kind of eating this as a snack for you guys. Let's take a bite of this meatloaf. Now, I particularly like the Marie Callender's meatloaf dinner. So this is a kind of a high bar to climb for this Hormel Completes dinner. But let's see. Not bad. This meal has 33, somewhere between 30 and 33 grams of... Uh, uh, salt so I, I did and that's the preservative so I do taste the salt in the meat but after being heated up for 35 minutes in my heated lunch box plugged into my blue eddy I'm assuming you could do the same with your car cigarette lighter to heat this up um, this meal to, appears to me to be uh, completely cooked for consumption. In an emergency situation, if you wanted to have some of these on hand, um, and you didn't have a way to cook them in a microwave and you could do it with the heated lunchbox, uh, it will work really well. If you put it in a microwave, it will work really well too. Either way, I'm enjoying this uh, meatloaf. I love meatloaf to begin with. And uh, in comparison to the Marie Callender's meatloaf frozen dinner that I like to eat, I find this completely acceptable. Um, I don't taste any frozen dinner funk. Uh, it tastes natural. Um, I've had worse meatloaf that was home cooked. The gravy is uh, 
tasty. There's enough gravy to pretty well smother the potatoes. All in all, for $2.37, I think you could put one of these in your heated lunch box and bring it to work and have a good lunch and save some money without having to spend seven to twelve or fifteen dollars on fast food R really um, I'm enjoying this Marie uh, Hormel's meatloaf and mashed potatoes complete uh, the more the more I'm getting into it the more I like it That's actually darn good. I'm going to rate this. And I really can't believe I'm going to do this, but I'm going to rate it 9 out of 10 stars. Um, I've definitely had worse meatloaf in many, in many forms. Hormel has a winner here in my opinion, folks. I wouldn't hesitate to buy a couple of these for your lunch or for emergencies or just like me right now having a midnight snack. Um, it seems to me like it's actual meat. Not a lot of uh, filling. The mashed potatoes um tastes great if I had any complaint overall is that it's probably a little bit salty however if you're going to store one of these on the shelf and keep in mind this this was not refrigerated when I bought it it's got to have some salt in it but, uh, wow. This is really hitting the spot right now. I was a little bit hungry because I didn't eat dinner. And I wanted to eat something before I go to bed. So I said, I'm going to make this video. I'm going to review this Hormel Completes meal. This, this, I, I think it's the first time I've eaten one. My wife eats, eats them. I'm going to put a link in the comments and in my first comment where you can buy a six pack of these on Amazon for I think under $20 to I paid 237 for this at HEB so you might save a little bit but I mean really for $2.37 You can't go wrong. In the future, I'm going to review some homemade MREs and show you guys how to make MREs at home um, for a lot less money than what they're charging for, for actual MREs. And uh, considering that the shelf life of most of the MREs, I'm seeing for sale is a year and a half to two years you can put your own together and save money and have some food storage uh, economical in case you have we have an emergency you have to hunker down uh, storms power goes out for extended periods this is definitely one of the one of the things I'm going to put in my homemade MRE. It's darn good. 
and it really doesn't need a microwave if you have an alternate heating source which is also darn good so as I finish this meal thank you all for stopping by um, please like the video give it a thumbs up because it helps us a lot in the YouTube algorithm if you haven't subscribed please subscribe uh, um, and ring the bell because I put I'm trying to post two to three videos a week this is a food review channel I've got some garden videos going some cooking videos maybe look around at some of my other videos and uh, hope you have a sense of humor because I do uh, I try to not take this myself or this channel too seriously um, it's all about food eating food enjoying food and uh, God bless y'all God bless this food and I hope to see you again soon in the very near future oh honestly folks I recommend this dinner if, if there's something I don't like that I review I'm certainly going to tell you and I like this meal right here and I'm kind of picky see you later